Well, you're gonna have to go get Mario. What are you doing over here? What are you gonna? You're seriously gonna take a bath right now? Why? What is this ridiculousness of you having to come up here in the kids' bathroom to take a bath? Really? Now I, I don't even think I can use the mirror now. Oh, I don't want him to wear that, so he's gonna just have to wear that. At least it has red. You know what? You're just gonna have to go use your own mirror. Okay, what the heck is going on? Stop chatting chatting it up with this chick. Now what are you doing? You're cleaning up the cake. Okay, you're being a good mom. Go teach your kid uh, some things. Because he needs or she needs to know how to walk and talk. And all that jazz that a child needs to know. Whoa! You look you definitely look Wow, these are very good uh, face facial combinations. I think Mario and Rosalina are like 50-50. They both don't look more like one parent. They just... Wow, I'm lost at words right now. But I think I'm going to let you have some nice hair like that because I think that fits. And then you get to wear face paint as well. I can make you wear these and be a rebel, or... Oh, I like that. Jewelry? No, I'm not going to make you wear jewelry, because that's... a little painful for a baby to have to wear that. Okay, where's your mother? She should be help taking care of the kids. Alright, since the party's over, go put Mario down, and then g come back here and work on your charisma. Alright, where's your mom? What are you doing? You don't need to go practice anything. I don't know what you're trying to do here, but uh, it's inappropriate. You need to help take care of your kids. Okay, where's Lightning? Is he upstairs doing what I told him to do? Okay, he is. Get up here and teach Mario how to talk. Do -do -do -do. Oh, look at the time, I better go. Dude, I invited you like hours ago, but you were at freaking work. And then you finally decide to come over, and then you're like, oh, I have to leave. Yeah, I think both Mario and Rosalina are like, uh, pretty good, are like 50-50, 50% Lightning and 50% Toadette, like, I don't think one looks more like the other parent. Everyone's being productive in this house, let's fast forward. Why is it taking you so long to teach her how to walk? Dang! Uh, I actually had an idea. I think I'm gonna do it right now. I think I'm gonna get rid of this teddy bear because the adults will take over the teddy bear a lot more as we saw Slim try to use the teddy bear and I'm tired of seeing that happen so I think I'm gonna put a piece of furniture in here. Uh, let's get one of these sweet egg, retro egg cedar chairs as what it's called in the description. And then let's have a nice bookcase so we can read them stories and stuff. And then that's it. There we go. Yeah, I don't think it was a good idea to 
put that teddy bear there in the first place because the adults and adolescents like to take over it more. Normally, this is how I do it when I uh, teach the babies stuff. I will have the dad teach the the toddlers how to walk and he and have the mothers teach the kids how to talk and then I would reverse it even if I and that's how I work it with the twins uh, maybe you should teach your kid uh, oh wait a second she's having another baby bump okay now I figured this out so tomorrow at 9 a.m. she will have her baby all right, I finally figured out the logic for uh, babies being born. So Monday at 9 a.m., the next baby will be born. All right, teach your kid things. Come on, and then go put him in his crib. Now, does Lightning need to work today? Because I want him to teach Mario. Oh, he has to work in like a, in like an he has to work in like 30 seconds? Why? He's not even done teaching Rosalina. No, you don't need to potty train a toddler twice when he's already being potty trained. And why do I... Sp oh, I... Flies buzzing. Uh, where's the butler? He needs to clean this crap up. Alright. Take... Put your child in his crib. Do this other stuff. And take a shower. And then... You need to, like, go make yourself some food or something. No, stop it. Stop! I, you need to go to work. Slim will take care of this. Alright, go empty that, cause... Yeah, it's gross. Get over it. Wait a second. What are you not doing in the crib? Oh my goodness. Put Mario in his crib. And then go get Rosalina. No! Stop it! Who's holding you? No! You are sleeping in the pet's room! Oh my god, Rosalina! You have a crib. A nice and comfortable crib. That is for the pets. You don't need to be sleeping in that stupid thing. No! I don't freaking care! Gosh, get Rosalina. No, get Rosalina. You will keep doing this. Oh my god. You, you know what? I'm going to delete these stupid crib or delete these stupid beds because you can't do this. Oh, she's going to pee her pants. Fantastic. Slim, you are such an idiot right now. And why are you going to use the restroom in your parents' bathroom? You know what? I'm fixing the stupid motive because I'm so freaking pissed off right now. Oh, yeah, I'm just gonna fix everything. Because I'm tired of this BS. Alright. There, you're wide awake. Now get the F out of this crib. Alright, uh, everything's better. Uh, no, you don't need to do that. Go let Mario out. Alright, you don't need a... You are fine! I don't know why you're even crying. Alright, Toadette, get in here. I don't know why we're in the pet's room all of a sudden. Alright then. How about this? How about you read a... Read to Mario. That would be a that would be a nice thing for you to do. Oh. 
Alright. You're telling him about a teddy bear? Alright. When is Lightning going to be back from work? He is going to be back any minute now. Er, I don't even know when he's going to be back. His work schedule changed. Oh, he'll be back at... He'll be back in like four hours, so that... Is going to be a little bit lengthy, but I think I could beat around it, and I'm thinking about getting us a pet since we have the pet stuff. So when you're done, <coughs> sorry, oh, I shouldn't be coughing. I don't know. Pizza, pizza's fun. Loses some, oh, of course, nothing ever good happens when I choose something I like. Alright, does it take you that long to read a book? You s yeah, you still have the day off. Come on. You only have you don't have to work on the weekends. No, no one else needs to come with you. Go to s to the Wii U pad because that's where all like the the fun stuff happens and that's where we can get a pet. Now I already know who I want to adopt. And, or create, I should say, because you create a pet. You can adopt the pets over the phone by calling the a pet adoption agency. But we are going to head to the Wii U pad and make ourselves a pet. Because that's always fun to do. And we are now in a new season. We're in winter, so that's, so that's kind of fun. And we have a bunch of crap all over in the dining room that the butler needs to clean up because he is trying to feed everyone breakfast when no one's hungry. <sighs> I don't know why the butler does unnecessary things. He also gets stuck in the... F he can also get stuck in your flowers which is another stupid glitch that I can't even stand one bit. Alright, the loading time is take the loading screen is taking too long. Please. I know the Wii U pad is a huge place, but I just wanna get there so we can get our pet. And by the way, by the time you're seeing these uh, two episodes, they will be uploaded on the same day because I have to go to Houston to see my niece. She is turning four years old, so You'll see two Sims 2 episodes on one day. So I guess you get to kind of enjoy those. And I'm thinking of getting us a cat. And then, because I, I already have an idea for a cat. I don't know what to do for a dog. And I, and that's my question for you guys. I want to get a dog and I want you to give me name suggestions. But we are going to... Get ourselves a cat. But what kind of cat should I get? Oh my goodness, a lot of these are cute. Oh, I don't. What's the name of that cat from that movie that is like always messing around with that dog or something? I don't know what the hell I'm talking about, so I'll just. Try my best. Oh. Oh, an Aussie cat? That sounded like an ocelot. Oh, wait a second. No, this is perfect. It has to be a male. And his name is going to be Pura! Yeah, I'm going to make base him off of Pura. So let's give him the right color. Now, is there orange? Okay, the body is light brown, so that needs to change to orange. It doesn't look like it changed that much. 
Did it not change that much? I don't... I guess it didn't change that much then. This needs to kind of be like a tiger. The face, I guess, has to be orange as well. There we go! There! I can see it much better. White throat, that needs to be orange. Uh, beige? Holy crap. This will be like a freaking tiger, but then again, that's what Pura is. Black Aussie cat. Yeah, that needs to stick. The black and the beige underbelly. Actually, I'll change that to white. And then I'll change that to black for the head helmet. And then actually we'll have a white throat. Or no, white. I didn't want beige. Alright. So we now have Pura. We just need to... I want to see what else I could do to his body that makes him more... Look like... Let's make his body a little bit skinnier because I don't remember him being this fat. Alright. Shouldn't his legs be muscly? No, oh, they should. Wait a second, what? Oh, I don't know what that does. Let's have that drop just a little bit, and then... For his eyes, his eyes need to be... Oh, they... On the other Sims too, they had purple, but I guess I can't do that. So they have to be blue. They need... I, I was hoping there would be violet, but I guess there's not. And then the eyes need to be a little spread apart. Snout and jaw. It needs to stick out just a little bit more. Or wait, no, that's a little too much. Okay, right there. Then his jaw needs to sp spread out. A little bit more like that. And then his ears kind of need to go down just a little bit more. Then his tail. Oh, uh, I guess his tail is fine where it is. Let's make it just a little bit bigger. And then that's it for his body. And then his personality. He obviously needs to be a genius. He needs to be, like, super hyper, super friendly. Uh, let's put him in the middle and make him very finicky. There we go. Wait, is it a male? Okay, and then another thing to show this off. You can make your uh, cat or dog an adult, or you can make them into an elder. Now, we don't. We obviously don't want to make Pura into an elder, because then he will eventually die, and that's something we don't want. So here we go, we have sweet little Pura! Uh, Scold for running around crazily. And then give him a hug. Stroke him. Give him all the love. And then we need to go buy him a collar, so just in case he runs away, we can, we can easily just have him track down and he'll come back to us. Dude, we want to freaking stroke you. Alright. We obviously need cat colors. Now, do they have violet? Or do they not? I can't tell if that's violet. I guess that's violet. Or maybe it just has to be purple. 
Okay, fine. That works. Or let's get that one just in case. And then maybe I'll buy a couple of more. Like maybe this sweet blue one or something or I don't I can't tell if it's blue or something. Let's just get a couple of these and then that Let's change Pura's appearance so we can Wait a second. No no this Go chase off this dog. He's tearing up the furniture. Get out of here. You're not tearing up my furniture. I put the stuff there. No! Uh, Pura! Yeah, freaking get over here! Don't you dare try to tear up my furniture. Jesus Christ. They just want to destroy everything. That's not good. Okay, maybe I can get a clearer view. Which one looks... Uh, That looks pink. So I think this looks more like purple. I can't tell. It's like a really dark purple. Alright, fine. Let's stick with that. Alright, scold for destroying that furniture. Because he... He needs to learn to not destroy the furniture. And then that will be it. And then we're gonna head back home and introduce Pura to everyone. And you have a fear that you will see hail. Well, we might probably see it since it's winter. But let's hope we don't. Alright, come on. Alright, come on, you two. We need to go back home. So now we have adopted little bitty Pura. Oh, it's lightning, though. I think it struck someone. And look at Pura. He's gonna freaking be in the passenger seat, which is really cool. And. This stupid witch is going to put roaches on my freaking property. Not my property, like my community lot that I built. And I don't appreciate any of that. Alright. So now we have two little toddlers who have grown or two babies who have grown to toddlers then we have another baby on the way and then we have our new pet para and we have I have like all of his cat stuff ready and set up and then I have stuff set up for a dog so my question for you would be uh, give me like name suggestions for dogs Because I honestly don't know what to name my my dog if I were to get one. Maybe I can name it after one of my dogs, since I have two dogs and one of them currently lives in the neighborhood. All right, now that Pura is in the house, let's go fill up that food dish for him so he doesn't. I beg us for food. Let's fill both of these up so he has a a second bowl. Wait a second. What are you doing? Oh, you already taught your your kids stuff? What are you doing in here? No, go play with this. Alright, come on. You need to go fill up that food bowl. What are you doing in the in this bathroom right here? Ooh. 
Oh my goodness. Everyone get out of this bathroom. No! Get out of here! No! We're all not gonna pile into the bathroom. You, ma'am, are gonna get in here and watch your kid. Oh, yeah. Just pick up the kid. What? Nothing happened all of a sudden? Well, at least you're kind of doing what I told you to do. Alright, Lightning, you need to get up here and teach your son how to walk, because he's the only one who hasn't been taught everything so far. Your wifey is just going to sit up here and chill. Alright, fine. You want to play with your little sister? I don't mind any of that at all. Okay, at least Pura is entertained. He has a little chew toy to play with. He has this thing right here. He has food. He has the cat tower and a uh, scratch thing. And he's pretty much good. Alright, you're just gonna chill over here. How about you be productive and learn how to cook more? Because once Slim leaves the house, you need to know how to take care of the kids. Oh, wait a second, go pee first. <laughs> Alright, how is everyone else doing? Okay, he's doing alright. I really like this chair that I put. It looks so freaking quirky and dumb, but it looks so cool. I wish I had this kind of chair with this huge backrest. Aww. I, maybe I should take a picture of them in the bathroom. And right through the window as well. Or maybe I can do a close-up shot of both of them. Okay. No. Oh wait, I need to capture this photo. Alright. Boom! And then I need to capture this one. Boom. Alright, I think that's going to be it for this recording session. So anyway, guys. Uh, this is Lightning Toted, or Kamilti, signing off. I will see you next week for The Sims 2. Bye!